we're going to pan and zoom in the sketch workbench now. So going back to Katia, I'm sliding my axis back and forth, up and down. And then if I zoom in and out, it's going to look like this. I'm going to have the arrows, my cursor, we're going to have the arrows up and down. So in order to do this, if I put my cursor right about here, it's like I'm grabbing it at that point. I'm going to hold the middle button down and it, see what my cursor just did. And then if I move my cursor just a little bit, you'll see the pan icon show up. That allows me to move this side to side and up and down. I'm leaving the button down the whole time. With the button still down, I'm going to tap the left or right button. So leaving the middle button down, tap the left or right button, and this cursor will change to an up and down arrow, which will allow you to zoom in and out by moving your cursor up and down. If you have a hard time manipulating this using the mouse, there is another tab called View. You see this right here is the pan. If I click on the pan, I can use my left button, click and hold to see how it's got that little fist of fury there, like it's holding on to something. If I move my hand to the left or to the right or up and down, it allows me to move that. As soon as I let go, it turns off that pan mode. So you see that pan icon? When I come over here and I hold my middle button down and move my cursor, see how this icon matches that? This is the pan icon which allows me again to move in and out, up and down, side to side, okay? Uh, to zoom, you have this zoom out, so you can click here. If I click and hold my left button, it has that little fist of fury again. If I move my hand directly up, it zooms in. If I move my hand directly downward, it zooms out, okay? So those are the two techniques to zooming in and out. Now, just a quick reference here. Under my preferences, I had you turn off the adaptive grid. And the reason why I have you turn off the adaptive grid, when I say OK, when I slide out, it keeps changing it. And it looks like I'm only one inch here. But when I zoom in, see how that just changed? I was actually like five inches away. So you have to zoom in and zoom out. Your adaptive grid keeps changing. So as a new user, that's probably confusing. We'll leave, leave the adaptive grid off. All right, see how small those rectangles are? I actually got to zoom in to get closer to see where my grid really is. All right, again, we've set up our grid to be one inch spacing by quarter inch increments. We just covered the pan feature. You can also hit F1 to get more help on how the pan feature works. By clicking on this user guide, it'll take you to a website to explain more about that. In some cases, it's not that helpful. In some cases, it is. It goes on to tell you about the pan command and also about the zoom in and out features. OK, so whoops, back to Katia. If you did that, you're going to have to hit Alt-Tab to go right back to Katia. or Find your Katia here in the bottom screen. I'll go ahead and close this window off. And we just covered the pan feature and the zoom in and out option.